Hello and welcome to my unboxing video. This is the unboxing video of Airbus A380-800 model in the previous color scheme of Lufthansa German Airlines. The aircraft model is produced by Gemini Jets under their Gemini 200 label. The aircraft is in 1 is to 200 scale size. This is the top view of the box, so let's proceed and see the four sides of the box, including the back portion. The first side of the box contains the Gemini 200 logo and the website address of Gemini Jets. The second side of the box contains Gemini 200 logo, 1 is to 200 scale diecast model, details Airbus A380-800, D-AIMB, Munchen title, an image of the aircraft and the item number G2DLH405. The third side of the box contains Gemini 200 logo, a title adult collectible model, a warning that it contains small parts not suitable for children under 14 years old, and the barcode. The fourth side of the box contains Gemini 200 logo, 1 is to 200 scale diecast model, details Airbus A380-800, D-AIMB, Munchen title, image of the aircraft, and the item number G2DLH405. The back portion of the box contains Gemini 200 logo. A statement that describes the quality and features of the aircraft model. Statement that says new aircraft being added monthly. Website address of Gemini Jets. And the logo of Lufthansa officially recognizing the license of this product. So let's proceed and open the box. Another cork packaging casing the aircraft. Included inside the package is the aircraft model, display stand, and the set of landing gears. These are the sets of wheel covers if you prefer to display the model in flight position. These are the sets of landing gears with 22 wheels. This is the display stand made of polished wood with Gemini Jets logo printed at the back and metal steel holder to hold the aircraft. So let's proceed and review the aircraft. This is the front port view of the aircraft showing its four engines. The left forward port view of the aircraft. The left port view of the aircraft. The left rear view of the aircraft. The rear port view of the aircraft. The right rear view of the aircraft. The right port side view of the aircraft and the right forward port view of the aircraft. On the left forward side of the aircraft, clearly visible below the cockpit window are the detailed technical markings, Star Alliance sticker, and Lufthansa logo. Number 1 and number 2 left cabin doors of the main cabin deck with all the detailed markings of the aircraft. The Lufthansa title crossing along the number 2 main cabin door. A small Airbus A380-800 and Brazil markings below the forward main deck windows. The 
first cabin door of the left upper deck with its detailed markings and the emergency slide marking clearly visible. The forward landing and takeoff flight markings are visible up front of the left main wing. The third cabin door of the main deck over the left main wing with detailed markings. Above is the second upper deck cabin door and beneath the door is the emergency slide marking. The fourth left cabin door of the main deck, the third door of the upper cabin, Lufthansa.com marking, airline registration D-AIMJ, German flag, and the fifth cabin door of the main deck. and the crane logo of Lufthansa. This is the tail section of the aircraft with its vertical fin and horizontal stabilizers and the detailed auxiliary power unit exhaust outlet. On the right forward side of the aircraft, below the cockpit window are the detailed technical markings, Star Alliance sticker, and Lufthansa logo. Number 1 and number 2 right cabin doors of the main cabin deck with all the detailed markings of the aircraft. Lufthansa titles crossing along the number 2 main cabin door. A small Airbus A380-800 and Brussels markings below the forward main deck windows. Also beneath the forward main cabin doors number 1 and number 2 is the main forward cargo hold of the aircraft. The first cabin door of the right upper deck with its detailed markings and the emergency slide marking also clearly visible. The forward landing and takeoff lights up front of the right main wing is also visible. The third cabin door of the main deck over the right main wing with its detailed markings. The second upper deck cabin door and the emergency slide marking also clearly visible. The fourth right cabin door of the main deck. The third cabin door of the upper deck, Lufthansa.com marking, airline registration D-AIMJ, German flag, and the fifth cabin door also of the main deck. Beneath the main cabin doors number 4 and number 5 is the rear large cargo hold and another small cargo hold beside it. And the airline's crane logo. On the top portion of the fuselage, clearly visible are the technical markings of the aircraft, satellite communication antenna, and the twin red bacon lines. Another two communication antennas over the top center fuselage. And another antenna near the vertical fin of the aircraft. And the auxiliary power unit intake behind the vertical fin. The top left main wing of the aircraft is painted in white color with do not walk outside this area signs, clearly visible along the black line markings. And the left wing tip. The top right main wing is also painted in white color. We do not walk outside this area signs also clearly visible along the black line markings. And the right wing tip. The bottom fuselage of the aircraft is painted in sky gray color with nose gear extension doors nose landing gear area and detailed technical markings clearly visible. Another navigational antenna and discharger run. Two air intake panels. 
On the center belly section of the aircraft are hall for the display stand, red bay con navigational light, landing gear bay doors, the two underbelly landing gear bay areas, underbelly antenna, Gemini Jets logo, and another rear underbelly antenna. This is the auxiliary power unit access bay area. The right main underwing area is also painted in sky gray color, including detailed markings of the engine nozzles. It has five flap extenders with the number four extender containing the fuel jettison pipe. The left main underwing area is also painted in sky gray color, including detailed markings of the engine nozzles. It has five flap extenders with the number four extender containing the fuel jettison pipe. These are the number one and the number two Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engines of the right main wing painted in sky gray color. The number 3 and the number 4 Rolls-Royce Trent 900 engines on the left main wing also painted in sky gray color. The fan blades are also rotating. These are the main landing gears of the aircraft, 4 wheels on each wing and 12 wheels on the center underbelly. And the wheels are rolling. The nose landing gear of the aircraft can be twisted. This is the appearance of the center underbelly in gear up position.
I hope you enjoyed the video. Please share, like, and consider subscribing to my channel.